Friday, March the 1st. So we are already into March. And I have a couple things I want to announce, let you guys know. Some cool stuff is ahead for this month. First off, um, March is always a bit exciting for me for St. Patty's Day and stuff, but also kind of somber for me because my father's birthday was on St. Patty's Day. And then I lost a near and dear friend to my heart on St. Patty's Day also. So it's kind of twofold, you know, twofold in a good way. So the friend that I lost, I lost to leukemia. And then I lost my dad to uh, melanoma. But my dad's birthday was on St. Patty's and this person passed away on St. Patty's. So but I'm also very Irish, so therefore, for me, I celebrate the lives of them, and I also celebrate my heritage, so that's why it's kind of a big deal for me. So, things to look forward to for this month, just celebrations for, for the heritage and being of Irish descent, you know, very proud to be Irish, you know, when my beard grows a little bit, if I actually do grow it out, sometimes it gets more redder than dark, so, but. and in the same token, um, I have some plans for St. Patty's, I want to do a cooking vlog for St. Patty's the month of March with the St. Patty's theme so not specific on the days but I want to cook dishes for the channel that are St. Patty's Day uh, Irish heritage type dishes um, some of those being well I can't really t tell you what they are because they're going to be a surprise but they're going to be great so I will put the challenge out there for you guys now. Who would like to do an all Irish theme this month for your cooking videos? Again, not every one of them has to be an Irish theme, but if you just want to make a couple Irish theme dishes, let's do it. Now I have a couple in mind that I've already chosen. If anybody picks the same ones, it's okay. Everybody has their different spin. But I have a couple in mind that I think, there's one in particular I don't think I've ever seen anybody that does any type of uh, van life or camper life or car life, whatever, has done. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But there is one that I'll tell you I'd like to try. Again, you guys have been hearing me talk about this all month, but the fish and chips. I don't know how the hell I'm going to be able to do that. I guess you can pan fry the fish. I just feel like it's gonna it's gonna burn. I don't know. I generally cook fish in a fryer, not just like on a pan. So my father used to be the master of making fish because he was a fisherman, outdoorsman, and he would make amazing fish. Of course, you know he'd do just like everybody else. You know, put it in, you know, some seasoning. You know, put it in, you know, the mix and slap it in the fryer we'd go up to here's a little history lesson <clears throat> so when i was younger my father and my family would go up to canada all year long on vacations and stuff and we would have the cabins up there and 
we would fish and camp. And my father had a, an SUV type vehicle that we would stay in um, from time to time. If, you know, we could either stay in the vehicle or the cabin. We'd make a trip out of it. And we'd stayed in the vehicle once or twice as well, just as where we were camping. We had tents and cabins and stuff, but every now and again we'd stay in the vehicle. And he had what's called a scout. Um, a lot of you may not know what a scout is, but it's like an old, it's like an old Bronco, but much bigger. It was like a military type Jeep, I believe. The thing was huge. And I can remember my sister and I would sleep in the back <laughs> a lot like the rogue and we would have little bedding and things in the back and we would basically camp out and fish hang out and and by the lake and it was a blast some of the best times I've ever had in my life you know so maybe I will put some pictures up sometime of some of those pictures of those those times we had because I still got a lot of that stuff in storage but I think that's where I get a lot of my outdoors and my cooking and my my rogue life type stuff because my father had he had a huge SUV more like a military tank type Jeep <laughs> it's so funny because it was yellow and then he painted a camouflage because he was huge in the military, you know, my dad was, air, well, he was a uh, infantry, I believe, stationed at a Fort Bragg, but um, on the back, on the back, with, you know, the tire cover in the back of the Jeeps, he had the Tweety Bird, so the Jeep was yellow, and then he had a Tweety Bird, but when he did the camouflage, he, uh, he did the, uh, the Tweety, the Tweety Bird, he took it off. <laughs> And then we had several boats. We had pond. We had uh, no. We didn't have a pontoon, but we had several boats and canoes and things like that. And we would go to the Upper Peninsula and BC Outdoorsman, man. You probably know everything I'm talking about. We'd go right over the bridge and fish from Ohio to Michigan, all the way into um, to Canada. And that was some of the best times of my life. You know, I think that's probably why I'm stuck in the '80s sometimes, is I miss those times. But uh, gotta move forward, and that's what what we do. So hopefully we'll have a video on Sunday, maybe tomorrow night for cooking. I'm not entirely sure. I know I'll be busy tomorrow. I'm gonna be watching the UFC fight somewhere. Just not sure where yet. Oh, the teeth is healing up well. I've got to have that second part of the surgery on Thursday. So I may not have a video for the evening on Thursday. But I'm not scared, you know. It's all good. I'd rather have the teeth out. You know? So, looking forward to that. Not. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'll do a comments call. Basically, I'll do a viewer comments. Rusty gave me that idea. He does a comment call, and I want to do one for my channel. Just make it a viewer comments. But uh, Rusty is he's great. I can't remember his zip code. Uh, Rusty nine one zero seven eight or something. I don't know. Chasing simplicity knows Rusty. I know Rusty. So check out his channel. Semi living, and now you're at home. But if you watch this, enjoy your downtime. I know you guys have a little bit of time to spend with the grandkids and the family, so you hope you have a blast. <clears throat> uh, and I can probably do some of those comments now. Let's make it a comments call video, because I can remember most of them. Let's just do this, the comments call video. So this will be two part. So the first part is, are you guys down for the Irish theme cooking all month? If so, that's cool. I'm throwing out the challenge. Anything you can make that's Irish, traditional Irish, or just for fun, let's see you cook it. Challenge thrown out. Challenging all of you right now to Irish cooking for the month of March. Number two, comments. So, 
<clears throat> Let's see, going back to when I got rid of the Malibu, I know, you know what, I can't do the comments because I gotta go back and look at them. So we'll just leave it at the Irish. Okay. But I want to thank everybody with the kind words about the Malibu. You do get attached from time to time to vehicles and that was one that got me out of a lot of trouble. I was, I really needed a vehicle and I didn't pay much for it. And like I said, I mostly had trucks in the past, so it was something that I wasn't used to. But uh, anyways, I think I've taken up enough of your evening. I'm sure that 11 minutes is plenty of my gabbing. So hope you guys are doing well out there. Enjoy your weekend, TGIF catch up with you later. Let me know about the Irish cooking this month. Peace.